Hi, everyone. We're here with Joanne Logie from New England Vacation Rentals, and we're going to talk to her a little bit about her experience with Streamline and some other topics. And Joanne, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Joanne Logie, and the name of our company is New England Vacation Rentals, and it's it's the nickname we call it NEVER, N-E-V-R, um, and we're located in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Uh, we manage probably, we probably run between 100 and 30 to 150 homes and our price points are anything from a small weekly rental of two bedrooms all the way up to luxury, big, large, fancy houses. So a small rental could run about 1,200 a week to a fancy house could run up to 22,000 a week. So we truly do have something for everyone. I started in the business loosely, I wanna say in the year 2000, I was a marketing director for a real estate company out of Canada and they were expanding into the United States and I was helping them with their launch and franchising and things like that. And one of the benefits was taking a lot of their real estate um, educational programs and one of them was on investment properties. So I got a bug in my ear that I should own one and I lived north of Boston at the time and I said, oh, I always love Cape Cod. I want to do this. And, you know, within the year I bought my first little two bedroom, 700, 800 square foot cottage. So I went to renovate it. I decided it had to look a certain way and everything like that. And I got it perfect. And I went to contact some of the local real estate companies that that's what you did back in that day. They just put your house, they didn't even have websites. They just gave catalogs and I couldn't even get anybody to call me back. And then finally I, I got one company to call me back and they didn't, there was no back and forth. So I'm a marketing person. I said, well, I'm going to take myself on as a client. I'm going to look at the world of a vacation rental as a product and see what's going on. So I just started studying it and I, I looked at the ways it was, they were being marketed. Um, at the time they didn't have any, they were just starting with some websites um, there was like rent by owner, vac A1 vacations, cyber rentals. So I think I made contact with cyber rentals and I just thought it was an amazing thing. And I said, that's where we're going. That's the future. So I listed my little cottage on it and um, I was able to, you know, create my own documents, my own forms. My I did everything as my own template and I did very well. And then I started getting... I had great success and I was still had other side gigs, if you will. I was marketing consultant, but then I just started getting people in the area, neighbors saying, oh, who's renting your house? Oh, I'm doing, well, how are you doing that? So I started taking on home after home after home. I'm sure you've heard this. This is not a new story. And then in about 2006, I was approached by a local real estate company that had about 80 or 90 rentals. And they were done. They didn't want to do it anymore. They didn't like the rental business. And they just really wanted to grow their sales side. And they were just getting nothing but headaches. So we made a deal. I bought his inventory. I took a little 100 square foot office in his office. And um, off I went. And then in around 2014, my software company had decided to go out of business. Or they were going out of business. And they had probably about, they had quite a few clients yet. And over the years, just like with Streamline, I became friendly a lot of the people that use the software and we would help each other. And I met this um, nice lady from Colorado and she and I discussed what the plan should be, where we're going to look at. And um, we looked at so many software companies and did demos and things like that. And she was on the verge of signing with somebody else. And then we met Carlos streamline i didn't need all the pieces of streamline i really just wanted a robust front end system to keep doing what i was doing and i really wanted the lead generation and be able to do auto books and things like that so streamline had everything that i could imagine and i i've never looked back i've had a great experience with streamline i i everything you guys do i look at and i embrace it it's definitely helped our company do what we do efficiently. Um, we personalize everything that we do. We're not just a robot. And I think that's the difference with a vacation rental company or any business that you are. You, you can't be a robot. You have to add personalization. You have to show that you care and you love 
your clients, whether they're guests or owners, because we have two clients. We have the homeowner and we have the guest. And that's what we do. And we totally embrace the lead program. We live and breathe by it. What features do you feel like you lean on the most? For us, it's definitely everything about the front end, we call it. We use everything in um, the lead, lead, starting with leads, you know, a, a lead will come in and it, we go through the process of really reviewing it. What are they looking at? Do, do we want to give them a direct quote? Do you want to do an informative quote? Give them a couple of choices. How we, we use the lead system to flow it through, how we track it. Is it a new lead? Does it move on to hot? What makes a cold lead? What makes it dead? So that's been our biggest thing is being accountable to those leads. That's been the biggest driver of our sales. Stream sign. Since COVID happened, that's been the best thing we've ever done. And that took me about four days to figure out how to, how to do that. Everything, you know, entering the property, what it looks like, how it integrates to our website, which we use um, BizCore, shout out to them. And everything is just integrated. I, would, I wouldn't really enjoy having to go to an outside web and all that. I just think that ease of knowing that if I put it one place, it's everywhere. How would you rate our customer service through the years and uh, up recently? Over the last, I would say two years, it's been really good. You have that streamlined advisory group. We give a lot of input. Um, you're very responsive. Your customer service now, I mean, we call, we can even call Streamline. If somebody picks up the phone, That I didn't even know that was a possibility to somebody in my company told me that. She's like, you know, they, they answer the phone. They do. So that's been great. The university uses those little those webinars are great. My whole team, we're very hands-on learners. You know, it's hard for us to just read them. So it's nice to get a little video that you guys do. And, you know, even if you guys give us direction, some of you will send us a video and say, here's what you do in a video, which we like a lot, um, or somebody will give it. So that your customer service has been very, very good. I will give a shout out to Sagri because I think she's amazing. And I think she's been such a positive influence in the company and how things are run. Um, everyone on Sue's team, Gloria, um, all the customer service people, I'm trying to think offhand, they've all been wonderful taking us through stuff. Well, I appreciate you doing this. You're such a great advocate for our company. We appreciate your role on the advisory board. We value your input to make our, our software better. Do you have any parting words or anything you'd like to say about Streamline or your relationship with Streamline? I hope you think, you know, that people think I am honest about it. I mean, I'm going to definitely say positive negatives about anything. And when I speak to someone when, you know, who wants to use Streamline, my biggest parting words is anything that you do is effort in, is effort out. In my own company, the effort our team and all of us put in is how we're going to get the success that we want. And same in using any software program. And this software is the hub to your lifeline is a vacation rental business. But if you're not thoroughly versed on it, and you're not willing to take the time to really learn it and input the correct information into it, you will not be successful no matter what software you use. And you'll end up, I mean, I don't know, do people change softwares a lot? It's a lot of work too. So you want to make sure you're happy. Absolutely. Wise words to close with. And again, thank you for doing this, taking your time out here today to do this and uh, have a great rest of your week. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for inviting me.